thanks for watching this video from Chris Hernan Reptiles. I think the best way to talk about uh, how I built this little beauty is to just head over to the photo tent. What I'll do is take some uh, animals from the clutch, actually two clutches that I got with this gene, and sort of deconstruct all the genes that are in this and then kind of build it up one at a time until we get to this one. Okay guys, here it is, the key ingredient. This is a single gene animal. And what I want you to notice about it is the orange. You can see so much orange here along the tail, the uh, pattern, the striped pattern along the top, and even along the sides and the belly. There's an awful lot of orange in this single gene animal, especially for a black pastel, because that's what this is. This is just a line of black pastel founded by a guy named Tom Barnard. Tom's line of black pastel is very, very orange. So when you mix it with other orange projects, like Orange Dream, it really helps the color to pop. Let's put the next gene together with this one and one of the clutches I just hatched and see how it makes it different. Here's black pastel mixed with calico. And the first thing you can see is, look at how the orange is now concentrated in that muddled side pattern. Just beautiful the way Calico interacts with Tom's line of black pastel. You can see how the orange pops. You can see how the pattern gets confused and messed up. And you can just see how nice and dark and contrasty this snake is. On the left, you have the one black pastel Calico. And I left her in there so that I could show this one. This one's black pastel calico yellow belly, I think. It's possible that it has orange dream too, I don't know yet. But you can see the same effect with calico on the sides. You've got this bright orange, but you can also see what I think is the effect of the yellow belly causing this orange striping along the top that you don't see in that animal. So I think it's definitely the effect of yellow belly. It's possible it has orange dream too. I'll know more as this animal sheds. I've moved over the black pastel calico yellow belly here and I've added the other side of this combo in over here. Most of you guys will recognize this if I can get her to unwrap a little bit. This is a super orange dream. And you can see if you're not familiar with orange dream, especially the supers, they're very clean and bright. This orange will intensify in another few sheds. They call it popping. It'll pop in a few more sheds. I wanted to see this year what would happen if I mixed Super Orange Dream with Tom's line of black pastel, calico, and yellow belly. And we're about to find out. On the left, I think we got the full Monty. I think we've got Super Orange Dream, black pastel, yellow belly calico. On the right, I think we have the same thing, except I think we're missing the yellow belly. And I'm not sure, but I've got a big difference in these snakes. What I can see for sure is they both look like super orange dreams. Very orange, very bright. They both have a very dark pattern that helps it to, that orange to pop. They both have orange inside that very dark pattern. That makes me think they have the black pastel. They both definitely have calico. You can see on this side how the calico started to muddle up the side pattern and uh, take a lot of it away. You can see on this little beauty how the side pattern is also muddled and taken away, but it's so bright and so orange right there. <clears throat> Some of the differences could be that this one has not shed, I'm sorry, this one has not shed yet. And we'll get to see that in a, in a few days, hopefully. And this one has shed. I could be wrong about some of these genes, but right now I'm going with, I think the difference is this beauty has yellow belly and this one does not. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I want to say a special thanks to my son, Josh, who did all the filming and all the editing on this because to be honest with you, I'm totally incapable. <laughs> thanks Josh, and thanks to all of you 
for watching how I built these little beauties. Please talk to Tom Barnard for any questions about his line of black pastel. He's on Facebook. And let me know if you have any questions for me. Thanks again.